so why do you want to get a bull bar on your truck? There's actually a few reasons why you would want to install a bull bar on your truck. One, it makes the car look good. It really does bring this nice, mean look to, the, to a truck. The second reason you would want to get one is for protection against debris falling in the front and stuff like that. And this video was inspired by uh, Rafael Manisha, who said, get a real bull bar. This one's fake. Technically, this is a real bull bar, but it doesn't really give you a protection of a real bull bar. There are a few different bull bars you can get, and this is the cheaper version, which doesn't really give you much protection, just some minimal, but it gives you the looks and serves almost like a bull bar. The real bull bar for a truck would be something that's more solid, and sometimes it will cover the entire front bumper. Especially when you're taking it your car off-road it makes a big difference since i live in a city i don't really need a real bull bar i just need one that protects me from things like snow banks and people bumping into my car with their cars one thing to consider when you're getting a bull bar it does extend your vehicle so if you live in a city and parking is a bitch so i got this bull bar as well as side steps and a rear bumper protect from people hitting me the car. This is not bulletproof, but it serves its purpose. Let me show you. step is also a good thing to get in the car I got this one from Weston and it is a step technically but since this is a Tacoma and it's a mid-sized truck it's not really that high off the ground so I don't get to really use the step as a step but what I do get out of it is actually protection to the side of the car especially when the car is parked in a parking lot and somebody parks next to you opens the door and hits the side of your car if a car is small enough and it's not a big truck or just a regular sedan, it tends to sit lower. So when they open the door, it will hit this bar instead of my side door. As you can see here, I didn't stop on the front or the sides. I went back all the way to the back. This is a rear hitch bumper. It serves two purposes. One, from people bumping into each other and damaging your bumper and As a sidestep, so when you want to get stuff out of your bed, definitely worth getting. This is quite cheap and you can find the link in the description as well if you want to interest in any the bull bar sidestep or this hitch. This is one actually is fairly cheap. I got it for less than a hundred bucks. It's not great. It feels loose. The locking mechanism against uh, movement sucks. And it, it is slightly crooked, but it's really cheap. And I still think I'd rather have this than not having it at all because it does protect my car. But the side bumper is still unprotected. So if you do own a truck, you do want to get a bull bar. The difference is really where do you keep the car. If you're taking the car off-road or you're keeping it in the city, this bull bar protects you from people bumping into each other, perhaps snow banks, small stuff. If you live in a country, you may want to consider getting something more durable, something that will give you more protection, as this is simply more decorative and protecting you from small bumps when people are parking next to each other in a city. So, to conclude this video, definitely get a bull bar. Definitely makes it look cool and gives you protection. If you consider how much a truck costs those days versus what a bull bar costs, it's a good investment. Especially when you're taking it uh, and a train. With their cars. You definitely want to get a bull bar.